check this out, y'all. We are back. New video. Um, different day. I don't know why I said that. Like, why wouldn't it be? But check this out. We are on the way to the barbershop. Boy, we're looking like so freaking rough. Like, the last video was the wicked build, as y'all can probably see in the back mirror, but y'all can't see it. I can see it. So, the last video was the wicked build. I was editing it, and I just seen I look just so freaking like rough and terrible. So, I've been like working a lot and just doing other stuff. I haven't had a day to just get myself together and go get a haircut and stuff like that. So, right now, we are on the way to the barber shop because your boy looking crazy. Like, I never let myself look this rough. But I just couldn't notice or couldn't tell until I like see myself through the camera, like editing, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta get that together. Me editing that video was like, oh my God, it boy look like a damn wolf. So we're on the way up there right now. And today's video is like a different type of video. Now, this is gonna be an educational video. I'm not gonna teach y'all how to do nothing about stealing cars. I'm going to help y'all prevent y'all cars from being stolen because if y'all do not know, I live in Detroit, Michigan. Y'all see where I'm at? I am in Detroit, Michigan. You know, so home of the Motor City, they steal cars, ball them up, crash them, have fun, joy rock, all that type of stuff. So you got an SRT, a SRT, a Hellcat, a Scat Pack, anything of the Mopar world. This is gonna be for Mopars. I don't know about the Chevy, but anything in the Mopar world. I'm gonna teach y'all how to prevent your car from getting stolen. Now, it might get broke into, because they might just break a window trying to steal the car, but my thing is, I'm gonna try to teach y'all how to not get your car stolen. So, I got a few things I'm gonna tell y'all, but I can't give up all the sauce, because if I tell y'all everything, Y'all gonna be able to take my car. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let y'all know what to get, what not to get, and who to go to to get stuff done, you know? But without getting into all that right now, because we, we got a few errands to run now, I gotta get my hair cut, and then I need to go to like T-Mobile to get a, a, a wristband for my new Apple Watch. Shout out to Mama eBay, you know what I'm saying? So we got a few little things to do today. So y'all gotta just come with me stay tuned and uh damn i'm stopping for the line like i'm doing better any other day i would have took it no cap but like i said y'all gotta come with me and just vibe out with me we gonna be chilling look at this look at the challenge is that a v6 five seven i don't know but like i said y'all for the come with me on the journey you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show y'all when we get to the barber shop and then uh, I'm gonna see y'all. I'm give y'all one last look of how I look. And then y'all gonna see the before and after. I got a piece of lint right here. God damn. All right, y'all. So the hair just got cut. You know what I'm saying? Nice little fade. Oh, man. Your boy feeling like a million bucks. Look at that, man. Kept a little beard coming. The beard trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Mustache coming. Let me see y'all. Oh, wee. So. Uh, right now we are on uh, oh yeah, East Warren and what is that, Guilford? It's a T-Mobile and East Point is like three or four minutes away, so we're gonna head to T-Mobile and get the wristband for the Apple Watch, and then we're gonna get into the video. So y'all don't click off yet, y'all just hold off, and y'all you know what I'm saying, be patient with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? She look familiar as hell, like I didn't see her before, bro. I don't know, but we finna head to T-Mobile. And East Warren Street is terrible. It's been like that since I lived over here like six, seven years ago. I used to work the auto zone too. I fucking hated it here. <laughs> and I'm be real. I'm gonna be real. I ain't gonna sugarcoat. But we going to the T Mobile on East Point. They got the little coin parking in the front. Hopefully it ain't busy and I can just pull in the front park, go grab a wristband and get up out of there for them. But we're gonna see how it happened. I'm gonna get on y'all in one second. We just now pulling up. It ain't like no parking in the front because these niggas out here just can't park for nothing. So I'm about to see if they got some parking in the back and see if we can just pull back here somewhere. Be in and out, you know I got that. Whew. Okay, they got some parking in the back. Is it a door in the back though? Uh, let me see. T-Mobile employee parking. Jimmy John's parking. 
Bro, see, I knew I shouldn't even came to this one. This one's so terrible. Like, how do y'all got... How do y'all want business? Because y'all got two parking spots in the front, bro. Like, that don't make sense at all. So, I don't know if I'm finna go to, like, a different T-Mobile or... Or what? We might have to just try again tomorrow just get into this video because it's going to be dark at 5 and it's 3.32. So, we got, like, two hours or so, really, before it start even, like showing it's getting dark but i'm about to circle around here and just see if it has been a spot that's been free so oh don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me okay smooth see look y'all it ain't no spot i mean it's the ups truck see they got everything like i don't know we're gonna have to just try again tomorrow i know i can go to like at&t and stuff like that so if i pass by one on the way uh to the location we going to i'm gonna just go there if not at this point it is what it is and they try you know what I'm saying? it's always tomorrow well not really because i gotta work tomorrow but it is what it is a right, big g wagon outside all right so check this out gang now we are at the Bay Wash. I wanted to have a different scenery. I know y'all tired of me like having a car here. It is like talking, but I could have really found nowhere that we could like park the car and just sit and talk about today's video. So now it is kind of cold, so I gotta put the hood on. So I'm gonna tell y'all a couple different ways to prevent your car from getting stolen. Now, this is gonna work on V6s, 5.7s, 6.4s, Six tooth Hellcat Scat Pack RTs, any of that model, Chally Charger 300, anything of that nature of a Mopar is going to work on. It's mainly going to be for like the 300s, the Chally's, the Charger, stuff like that, the Rams, TRXs, because those that get stolen the most. So, like the other types of like Mopar don't really get stolen like that. So, I'm going to tell y'all some things y'all can do to make your car have a less chance of getting stolen. Step one, this is if you're at home. Step one, you have to have security cameras on your premises, preferably a camera that just looks at your car. Even if you have a garage, you park a car in the garage, have a camera inside the garage because you want to know what's going on in there if you're not inside the garage. So have a good security camera that's going to watch your car and protect your car and that you can look at at all times. A lot of these will see a security camera and, and get scared away because they don't know if you're watching it in real time or not. The next step of having to keep your car safe is you have to get some type of uh, equipment to keep your car good. So what people should do with these cars, they should get kill switches. If you guys don't know what a kill switch is, my guy, Pack Punch Performance, his Instagram is gonna be on the screen. He can get you a kill switch and have it on your car. Nobody's gonna know where your kill switch is at. The kill switch is able to prevent your car from being started and do not go there thinking you're gonna find out where the spots are at and go to another car. Like they're all in different locations within the car. So step two, get a kill switch for the car because if they can't start it, they can't go nowhere. So I know y'all gonna be like, um, they can still push it away. No, 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 no. So if you go to pack a punch and you get a neutral delete, he can take the neutral delete out the car and it won't be able to be pushed. So basically the car will have to be dragged like it's being dragged by like a towing company. So if you guys are familiar in the inside by the gear shifter, it's a little black piece by the cup holder. You can pull that up and it's an orange string. You pull up and the car goes into neutral. But I'm not trying to teach y'all how to steal a car or nothing. It's just for educational purposes. A lot of y'all want to get these types of cars, but y'all are afraid to like get it stolen. And I ain't gonna lie, the city I live in, these cars get stolen so freaking much. And it kind of makes you get discouraged and not even have one, honestly. Third thing, you want to have some type of locking mechanism that'll lock your steering wheel with like your brakes or like with like something else in there. So a lot of people have like clubs on their car. They can be, I don't want to say it, but they, they could be taken off somehow. It's better to stop them 
go slow them down to let them get inside the car and just do whatever they want fast as they can. Goal is to slow them down so you can try to catch them and scare them away. They might be able to do stuff with it, but just slow them down as much as you can so they can't just get in here and just drive off so freaking easy. Now, a lot of you guys might not know this, but I have heard and seen on footage, it takes about 30 seconds to get in one of these from um, breaking the window to crawling in programming, it takes about 30 seconds. So Dodge know that this car is very terrible on keeping it safe. And they ended up making some type of system update for like the newer Scat Packs and Hellcats that removes like valet mode and does something you can put inside a different type of mode. They release these cars and we buy these cars knowing they are the most stolen cars. So a lot of y'all have high insurance rates because these get stolen you know what i'm saying these get totaled out they steal them they do whatever they do with them so that is why the insurance is so high so let me tell y'all why they steal these cars now a lot of people want one of these cars but they don't have like the funds or the credit like the down payment to have one or to be able to afford one so they think they can just steal the car jury ride somebody else's car something that somebody else is paying for monthly or paid it off in full and like enjoy the blessing but instead of them going out getting their stuff together to get one of these on their own they rather just steal it and have a car that i guess you could say paid off no car payment no insurance payment nothing like that so if you worked your ass off for it i believe you should be able to keep this car outside at night and not have to worry about it not being there in the morning people got lives like people want to do stuff in their cars but people are so afraid to go somewhere because that car might get stolen. So I've been in plenty of situations like I wanna go to the mall, I wanna go out, I wanna go out to eat and just leave my car outside. But knowing this, I can't leave it outside. I don't think my car can get stolen, but I think that they can bust the window and try to steal it. Cause I got a lot of stuff done to it. So I can't tell y'all everything I got done. Cause y'all been there, watch the video and be like, okay, he got this, then he got this, then he got this. Done. So the stuff I'm telling y'all is basic common sense. Like how SRT then told y'all how to put kill switches on here. So this is stuff that's like common sense. So y'all, the next thing you can do to prevent your car from being stolen is under the hood. Wait, let me show y'all. <laughs> now the car does need a detail. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't even trip, folks. But you go up under the hood to the fuse box. And these cars do have starter, fuel pump, and I believe a ignition relay right in there. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show y'all what relays it is. But I told y'all. So, go in there, do your homework, and it's going to show you what relays it is. So, People take the relays out the fuse box so the car won't be able to start. Now, a lot of people do that if they don't have kill switches or maybe you have a kill switch, you want to take the fuse out just in case somebody find the kill switch, which they shouldn't, and just be able to start it up from there, you know? I'm take this off real quick and it just, it shouldn't be too hard to find. So y'all can look at this right here. It's going to tell y'all every fuse that's inside the front of this fuse box and y'all can go from there to see what y'all gotta do to take out the fuses. I believe it's like one fuse and like two relays that'll make the car not start up. So that's gonna help y'all a lot and keep y'all car safe. And like I know having one of these cars, it increase your paranoia. A lot of people can't sleep well at night because they always gotta look outside, check their car or stuff like that. So if you have a dog in the house, hopefully your dog is trained good enough to bark if somebody around your house or around your premises because that's a lot of ways people you know something going on outside or something just isn't right you know what i was told was like i told you guys in the beginning this is not how to teach y'all this is more of like a, a education video so a lot of people told me they use like glass punchers that are like little pins they come up to the window they stick it on the window the window cracks so i heard if you double layer tint the back windows the window wouldn't like crack as it normally would so if y'all do not know they go through the back windows because the back windows do not have sensors the front windows do so imagine spending 30 40 to 90 thousand on a scat pack to a hellcat for them to cheap out not put window sensors on the back windows like if it was a brick around here i could literally take a brick throw it through the back window with the alarm locked the, the car wouldn't make a noise just knowing you're paying that much and for dodge to half ass it's terrible i'm not gonna lie to you because why would y'all half ass something that important if y'all to 
keep making them knowing you guys will have security in the back windows it's crazy so a lot of people go out there and get aftermarket alarms but there are like expensive ass aftermarket alarms like six seven hundred like crazy numbers man it's so freaking cold out there. i had to come inside for a second so i want to talk more about the kill switch there are different types of kill switches it is a kill switch it's literally just a switch so they have kill switches set to your car to where like you will have to like press special buttons for the car to turn on so it might be like left pattern shifter right pattern shifter up down and then the car started i'm not sponsored by them i just want to help my people keep their car safe because i know how it feels to have the paranoia and stuff like that of these cars because you would think you spend 30 to 40 to eighty thousand dollars on the car and you think it will be safe spend that much money on a charger or challenger is a lot so not knowing that your car will be there in the morning is it, it, crazy feeling so um we gotta turn the heat up Oh, it's getting frosty. It is 41 degrees outside. It is very chilly. I'm out here trying to get content for y'all because we have been slacking. So I kind of just want to give y'all a rundown. I don't know if there's anything else I can tell y'all about how to keep your car safe without breaching and telling y'all what I got. So the whole goal is to stop them, make them take as long as possible. Like I told y'all, I heard it takes 30 seconds if it makes them take them a minute, 30 extra seconds, like if it makes it take them a minute, you're stopping them, you're slowing them up until they hopefully give up on trying to get your car because it is vultures out here that want these cars to do certain stuff with them. They want to take them to slide show. So the whole thing is slow them down as much as possible. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on when you're outside and you out like shooting moves with your car, Try to park somewhere that has a lot of cameras and is very visible because people want to do their job as they're like still in the car and not getting caught. They don't want nobody to see them to tell the police or something. So park somewhere very well lit up, somewhere that's going to be very busy, somewhere that's going to be like seen by a lot of people. Like you don't want to park your scat pack at the mall all the way down at the end because you don't want nobody to hit your door. No, if you're going to park it, Park it somewhere up front or a lot of people can see. Don't try to park far because you're scared about your door getting hit. Do you want your door hit or do you want your car stolen? Like, let me know. It only makes sense. And then sometimes you have to go with your gut feeling. Like, I done pulled up to a couple places in my car where I wasn't too sure if I could, like, leave my car here while I'm in this store for 20, 30 minutes. Mine will take 30 seconds. So, I didn't, like, trust in my gut and just pull it off and went home got another car so a lot of times when i have to go certain places i have to go home take my car back and then get another car and i will feel more safe so a lot of the times people that have these cars they have dailies because they know they can't bring these cars everywhere so have a daily it don't have to be a nice ass daily give me a clapped out ass honda for a thousand bucks that's so you can keep your car safe and plus Winter in these cars is going to be terrible. Hopefully, I'm not in for something too crazy this winter. So, that's pretty much it of a rundown. I'm sorry I can't tell everything else because I don't know who's watching my videos. People with the wrong intentions might watch my videos. That's all I can pretty much tell y'all now. It's damn near getting dark outside. Like, it's damn near completely dark. I have to make it home. Oh, no. That's just the tent. But it's damn near finna be dark. I gotta make it home within an hour because y'all have a video coming today. So today is gonna be the day that I dropped the last video, which was installing the wicked wheel. Let me give y'all another close look up on that because I haven't showed y'all really in this video. So pack a push performance on the screen, link inside bio, install this two-piece wicker bill, and it makes the back of the car look so freaking aggressive. Like look at that. At every angle. It looks aggressive. So if you want something like this installed, go to Pack a Punch Performance on the screen. He takes care of everybody. Let him know eBay sent you. He's gonna look out for sure. I tell y'all, it looks crazy. So it's like basically like a big fin, and this one sits up high. Now I'm sure y'all want to know exactly the one I got, but I can't tell y'all because they didn't sponsor me. I reached out for a sponsorship for them to either give it to me for free or take a little bit off the price. And I told them I'll promote them on all my platforms, but they said they wasn't doing any sponsorships right now. So guess what? Business is business. I do not promote stuff on my channel for free. So anybody that I promote is my sponsorship 
or we collaborating or something of that nature. This thing looks so aggressive. Oh my God. Look at the idol. Like I'm so glad we end up cutting the men mufflers off in the car. Just listen. Oh my God, it's looking thick. Jeez, that damn, ooh wee, the fuse gotta be next. I don't know, leave a comment right now and let me know, should I add a diffuser to match the front splitter and everything else like that? Cause this car is gonna have like the full kit very, very soon. The car is coming together piece by piece. And I just want y'all to make sure y'all are gonna be able to watch it. Oh, Tom Uncle right here just watching. He probably don't know what I'm doing. A lot of the old heads don't know what's going on when they see you holding the camera or holding the phone or something. He probably think I'm just talking to myself. The whole time, this is damn near my career. This is my passion. This is my dream. So with that being said, it is literally freezing outside. I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip, which is most likely tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all when I catch y'all. Until then, um, I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. We're gonna be back in a second. Hey, yo, Pluto, you going brazen. Hey. Let that shit ride, 88. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us, man, down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill